In 1993, Scott McCloud released Understanding Comics, which was made to prove that comics was more than just kids stuff, and that it's a legitimate art form. Then in 2000, he released Reinventing Comics, which was less broad than Understanding Comics because it focused specifically on technology and how the internet would influence comic making. And then in 2006, he released Making Comics. I smiled many times reading this book. He has a really dry sense of humor. Um, so the book is both educational and entertaining, which is hard to pull off sometimes. Now, this book doesn't teach you how to draw, but it does teach you how to tell stories through your drawings how to frame things and create a sense of flow on the page, the different ways to combine words and pictures. Um, there's like seven different word picture combinations, which is, uh, there's word specific, picture specific, duo specific, intersecting, interdependent, which means, um, the words are completely separate from the pictures, but when you combine them, they, they give a totally different meaning. For instance, if a girl is crying and that's all you see, that tells you that, well, the girl sat. But if the words are, I'm so happy for you, the words alone would tell you that she's happy. But when you combine them, then you can tell that she's lying because the pictures are showing her crying, which is an opposite message from the words which she's saying, I'm happy. And then, so that's interdependent combination. Then there's parallel. And then there's also a montage. So he goes into a lot of detail with a lot of examples for how to use these different word and picture combinations to effectively tell a story and to keep it interesting and have enough variety to where it doesn't feel monotonous. <laughs> And then another interesting thing in here is um, there's a lot on body language and communicating emotions through facial expressions. But he did something I've never seen before, which is he compared the facial expressions of a person to the primary colors. So the primary facial expressions are anger, disgust, fear, joy, sadness, and surprise. And then he has a couple pages of combining say anger and disgust to make rage or combining three other of the primary facial expressions to make a totally different meaning and then he shows you how to how to articulate the facial muscles in such a way that you don't make an expression that looks like fear when you're just trying to communicate surprise so the book doesn't teach you specifically how to draw things. It teaches you how to communicate your ideas effectively through words and pictures. It's an amazing book on comics because it's a comic book about comics, just like Understanding Comics is a comic book about understanding comics. So it teaches the medium through the medium, which is super cool. It's just a really inspiring book. It's one I go back to all the time. Um, teaches you the importance of backgrounds and world building. And there's also, like in Understanding Comics, there's a chapter on the differences between Eastern comics and Western comics. But he goes into a little bit more detail here. So it's an amazing book give it a 10 out of 10 easily for people who want to learn comics for someone who's just interested in reading comics but not necessarily making them uh it's still pretty good but i'd recommend understanding comics over this one for someone who just wants to understand them check out the review for understanding comics and you can also get this book on amazon i put an affiliate link in the description so other than that, I'm working on more animation and 
animation tutorials. So thank you for watching.